Ian had to say before you get to it. Oh, man, all these fucking good-ass white people at my show. <laughs> and you wanted to show them the reason George Floyd got his neck nailed on. <laughs> Don't ooh at that joke. It's just a joke, man. I would have never kneeled on George Floyd's neck. I would have shot that nigga. That was way too long. <laughs> oh my God. Just... I think I just canceled the rest of my black fans. Old school nigga. Man, you up here making us look. I've been to Minnesota and I went in the gas station and I asked them niggas to let me see that fake 20. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you know, bro, that leather jacket fire as hell. Oh, uh, he got a... I hope this nigga don't shoot me one of them old-ass pistols, nigga. These are the people that are walking out of his show. That he's firing up. Oh, he man. put the hat on, nigga. Goddamn right, nigga. And they gonna slap me down and smoke a camel. <laughs> exactly. You know this shit funny. It's called comedy, nigga. You, you really stupid low to put the outfit on, nigga. You look, you look like you drive a yellow taxi cab, nigga. Your ass. <laughs> okay, get up out of there, nigga. I mean, my black friend, baby. Okay. I can tell you voted for Biden. All right, get out of here, baby. Come on, come on. Don't make it a big deal. Come on, baby. You already bought that VIP ticket, bitch. I got that $42. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Buy a t-shirt on the he way out, too. I got a Make America already paid. Roast Again shirt in the style of Trump. <laughs> if your yeah. friend's having a good time, don't make them leave because you upset about a nigga you didn't know. <laughs> I ain't know that nigga. I ain't got no feelings about him. Woo. Come through the front like that nigga. We want to see your outfit, too, bitch. Fuck it. <laughs> Put on a fashion show. <laughs> Come on, baby. Escort her this way. I got to see the outfit, man. Baby, how did you find me, sweetheart? I ain't got to let him fight. You already know. Keep going on with your show. I got to wait till you. Huh? Baby. I got to fight the audience tonight, nigga. Fuck this shit. This. <laughs> if comedy was. Hey, look. I'm going to tell you something. Man. When you go to a comedy show. I don't care how cringy he is. We need to laugh more, dog. It is getting so bad that these guys can't even just like, like, I don't give, listen, man, respect to that family. And I don't know George Floyd. I agree with him. I don't give two shits about that situation. We saw what it did. It, the reaction to that situation was what it was. It, it, it opened eyes to what, a lot of people of minority race go through as it relates to police officers. And it also highlights the um, anxiety a lot of black men go through when we got to deal with police. But at the same token, I go to a comedy show. I'm drunk. My, I'm full. I'm feeling good. I want to laugh. Now, if you say something that's going to make me go like, oh, oh, shit. But then you come right behind it and you just boom, boom. The jokes, the laughter is supposed to, you be, people be so ass hurt right now, man. And that's why, like, we living in a race, like, we, we just fucked up. Y'all, like, everyone's so goddamn sensitive. He right, you don't know that man from a can of worms. You ain't never met him. You wasn't out there with him. You wasn't going through the mental battles that he was going through. You wasn't smoking crack with him. You wasn't at that damn corner store. Trying to counterfeit a 20 with them. You wasn't doing none of that with them. So now you don't know them. Right? So the little fuck. Shit. Just enjoy the love and laugh. <laughs> and smile. And enjoy the time that you get to be out. Because a lot of us can't even afford to go out like that. Or it ain't even about an afford. You ain't got the time to do it. Because you working to provide. So the moment that you get to get out and laugh a little bit. Because we love comedy shows. We don't care how cringy this shit get. As long as you make me laugh a little, I can get past all the nasty shit Going you say. Going to a comedy show 
is just like going on cruises and stuff. You may go see the pe- go see people that you know you don't know just to fill them out, and then if you like it, you do it again. If you don't like it, you won't go see that person again. So I mean, I definitely ain't about to get everything. mad when I pay forty two dollars because <laughs> we know comedy shows in the big halls is way more. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to pay the forty two while you can pay Not the forty two. Forty two was VIP though. You need to pay the forty two while you can pay the forty two. Cause that one day, the way this man sound and where you just popped him up, but the fact that he apologized. Woo! So he doing you a solid. He apologized. Let's go. Hi, this is comedian David Lucas. Uh you know me from Kill Tony and other various road shows. Uh I'm an edgy, uh push the boundary comedian. And uh my job as a comedian. So did they not know go who know who they were going to see? And he said it. Do you did, did they you know not me, baby? know that he's he just a, said edgy? That he's like the, a dark humor type comedian. Mm-hmm. Whatever. He don't need to apologize to them. Fuck him. <laughs> it is what it is. See you at the next show, bitch. <laughs> like. It is. It is what it is. He's a comedian. These are the things that happen. Get tough skin, you grow from it or you don't. But they didn't know who they was the going to see. Comments is on his side. They really didn't know who <laughs> they was going to see. You want me to finish playing an apology or just say fuck it? What do you apologize for? Uh, if you would let me finish playing it, you would have heard. <sighs> okay. You know me from Kill Tony and other various roast shows. Uh, I'm an edgy, uh, push the boundary comedian, and uh, my job as a comedian is to bring humor in dire situations. With that being said, there's a clip that is circulating around social media, and um, since that clip has came out, I have spoken to a lot of George Floyd's family. I spoke to Cal Wayne, Trader Truth, Stephen Jackson, and uh, my intention was to never cause harm to his family or make them revisit a moment that happened a few years ago. Uh, I'm a father, so I get it. I understand how his kids feel. I've spoken to his whole family, and uh, we've came, uh, you know, to an understanding as to how to move forward from this, and uh, just want to apologize to his kids and everybody who was close to him. That nigga lying like shit. He ain't talked to his whole family. He talked to the to few people he said in the first, and he considered them family. First of all, Stephen Jams is a family friend. And Trey the Truth. They are all family friends. <laughs> so if you didn't go these directly these to the kids. People. Yeah, man, get the fuck out of here. You ain't apologizing man. to nobody. You apologizing to the people you didn't need to apologize to. You needed to contact or find a way to send an email or send a bird or somebody. And just apologize to the family and move on. But at the end of the day, he wouldn't have to apologize to no goddamn family if y'all stop pulling your goddamn phone out. Because that building looks just like the improv. And the improv says, if you like what you're doing, if you want to stay in here, just do a good time. Have a good time. And keep your phones away. Ain't that how he said it? Yeah, just shut the fuck up. Keep your phones away and laugh. You come there to laugh. People, why? Like, everything doesn't need to be recorded i go to a comedy show and if they tell me to keep my phone away i keep my phone away but most times i'm gonna keep my phone away anyway because i am trying to get to the point where i really want to laugh so i am focused on getting to the laugh especially if people i don't know and in this case i wouldn't have known him so i'd have been like this I'd have been like that. <laughs> it's the growing Waiting. laugh. You see what I mean? Waiting for it. I don't got time That's to be out there go see Corey pulling Bell. my phone out like this. Yeah, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but like this. Yeah, you still talking. But then right back like this. Man, nobody got time to do that. And then, of course, the blog is going to come to your page and steal the video for free. And not give you a dime of the residuals. They're getting ready to make off your video because they have monetized their page. So they're going to make money off of your content, dummy. Instead of you seeing what the shade room them doing. And you finding a way to put your name in the middle of that video. So when the shade room steal it. They know it's at whatchamacallit. 
that provided this video to the shade room. That way, you make money and they make money. Niggas.